Welcome back. This is part two to the Zoologist Specimen Anthology Collection. I'm going to give you my first impressions and my review of these fragrances. Now, if you haven't watched part one, I'll put the link up here, but I would strongly suggest that you start there before watching this video. Here is the Zoologist Specimen Anthology Collection. You know what? We're going to start with box one because last time I did box two. And I do want to mention after I did the first video, I started wearing some of those fragrances on my skin. And I will say that some of them changed drastically from scent strip to skin. So just keep that in Mind today. The first one up we're going to start with is Beaver. Now I'm going to show you the inside. I'm not going to read the information or the notes, but if you do want to see that, you can pause the video at any time. Okay, here comes Beaver. Okay, right off, not bad. Not what I was expecting. When you think of Beaver, you know, you think of Beaver. Very fresh air. I'm getting damp grasses and water. A very mild woodsy notes and some florals in here. It's pretty good. Now there is a mild clean musk. I honestly expect this to be a little bit muskier, but there's definitely a clean musk in here and a little bit of leather. I'm really digging it. I almost get like a chewed cedar vibe leather. Overall, this is definitely pleasant, but honestly, it leans a little bit feminine. I'm kind of, I don't know. I thought Beaver would be more of a masculine fragrance. I give this about a seven. Next up, we have Dragonfly, and I'm kind of curious what this is going to smell like. Oh, very, very airy and floral. I'm getting a drippy water note. You know what I smell here? I smell heavy basil. Yeah, this definitely comes off like a picture of a realistic pond while it's light drizzly raining on a bright day. You know, not super storm clouds are coming out, but just a little bit of clouds that's still sunny. That's what this smells like to me. You know, as it's toning, it's getting very vegetal. It kind of smells like if you had a vase of flowers, a vase, and you had water in there and you smelled the water. That's kind of what this reminds me of. I don't know though. You know what, it, it's, it's been done before. It's a little bit feminine. Honestly, it's a little boring, really. You know, I expect a little more from Dragonfly. Nah, I give it a 5.5. Next, we got Hyrax. Oh boy, if you know what a Hyrax smells like, you could tell me, because I have no idea. Oh, ooh. pickle juice? No, oh, hold on. Very musky, but nice musk. I'm surprised. Wow, this, this is ultra masculine. This is woody, musky, spicy amber. You know, there's a nice whiskey vibe in the opening, but it kind of faded out, but you know what else I'm getting? Very faint poo-poo smell to this. A little poo-poo, which was expected. Uh, it kind of faded too. I don't get the whiskey or the poo-poo, but I'm getting a very like sharp leather smell. Not bad, I dig this. So if you like animalic, spicy, woody ambers that turn a little bit leather, I think you'll dig this. I don't know, it might be a little bit too challenging for the noobs. It's, it's a little bit too challenging for me. You know, when I say challenging, I just mean a little bit too much musk for my personal tastes, but uh, pretty good, honestly. I'd give it a 7.5. Solid fragrance if you're daring. Up next, we have Hummingbird. You know, humming, what are hummingbirds? They're little cute birds. I'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit feminine, but who knows? Okay, hmm. Bright, sweet, definitely powder. You get the makeup vibe. Fruity floral. This is a gourmand fruity floral, and I dig it. You know, it's very clean and fresh. I smell pear, almost like a cherry note. Apples, maybe. You know, it's almost turning into like a synthetic grape smell. You know, like how a grape candy smells? It almost has that kind of a fruity vibe to it. This is very juicy and fruity. It leans a little bit gourmand. I wouldn't say this is a full-on gourmand. It, 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 you know, it tickles gourmand. It's almost there. I don't know. There's a strange note in here. I don't know what it is. Maybe the honey. Is it there? Is there honey in this? I don't know. I think this is very pleasant. It leans feminine. You know, it could be a little bit juvenile, but uh, that's up for you to decide. It's pretty good. Not quite my style. I'd give it a 6.57. Next up, we got Chipmunk. Oh, look at that little hat. You know, if you wear a hat like that, you're pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's... Hold on. You know what? The first blast right off smells exactly like eggnog. Are you familiar with eggnog? That's what it kind of reminded me of right off. Now it's getting a little... little musky. You know, it's not bad. God, the musk took over. So you went from eggnog, a little sweet and nutty, to a musk. It almost smells like how you picture a wet chipmunk smelling. Not too bad. I don't know, the musk came out of nowhere in this one. I'm getting a woody fir tree note too, which I like, but there's just, I don't know, I, got, I wasn't expecting the musk. I got hit with too much musk. I'll give it a 6.5 until I wear it on skin. Next up, we have cow. What is cow gonna smell like? I mean, probably milk maybe. I just hope it's not sour milk. Okay, here we go. Ooh, very, very nice, crisp, clean opening. I'm getting fruit, florals, and like a cold milk vibe. This is really good. 
You know, it's a little bit green. It's getting a little powdery, which I also dig. Like a powdered cold. It has a cold feel to it, though. It's not like a warm. This is not a spoiled milk to me personally. This is like a cold, nice milk. It leans a little bit feminine, but I'd wear this. I'll wear this all day. You know, it's starting to dry down a little bit. Wow, you know what I'm getting coming through this? So let's talk about this. You had bright, airy florals, fruits, and a cold milk note. As it's, it's a little bit powdery. As it's drying down, I'm getting a vetiver note, like a dark vetiver coming through. And I feel like it kind of pulls that airiness down. I don't know. It made it a little bit more unisex. On the first spray, it smelled a little bit feminine, and now it's getting unisex. I'm digging this. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a beast mode version of Ghost in the Shell by Italie de Range. And I did a video of that review. You can check it up there. But this smells very similar. So if you're familiar with Ghost in the Shell, but you wish it was a little bit stronger, maybe a little bit darker, check out Cow. This was really good. I give this about an 8.5. Next up, we have Cockatiel. What a cute little bird. Bright, soft, powdery vanilla right off, but there's a strange note I'm not liking. It smells like sour fruit. It almost smells like, so this, unlike cow, this one smells like a turned milk to me. So it's very bright, it's very powdery, it's vanilla. There's some very sour fruits, almost like unripe fruit. And then I'm getting turned milk. It's a little musky, it's a little fizzy. I don't know where the fizzy, I don't know where the fizziness comes in. It almost smells like a booze. Definitely leans feminine. I don't know. I mean, not bad. It's really strong. It's actually real. I'm baking this whole room out. It's really strong. How about another spray? All right, there we go. So I'm almost, it's almost like a fruity, sour, powdered champagne kind of a vibe going on here with vanilla in woods. I, I don't know though. The, the, I, there's a spoiled note that I don't like at all. Maybe it'll be better on skin. It's decent. I, I give it like a six to be generous right now. I'll come back to it. Next up, we have Civet. Once again, I'm a little bit worried if you're not familiar with Civet. They're known to smell a little pissy. Oh, I can smell this in the air already. Wow, this is pretty, this is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised. It's musky for sure, but not fecal. I'm getting a warm, powdery smell, almost like bitter coffee. There's some really nice, juicy florals coming through that I really dig. So bitter coffee, heavy musk, bitter florals. And you know what? There's a little bit of incense coming through. It's just starting to wear off a little bit. You know, I'm getting lightheaded, so maybe that's what it is. So this is really good. You're going to really have to like musk to like this, but the musk is solid. Honestly, it's not offensive to me. It doesn't have a fecal smell at all. I dig this one. It's not quite my style. It's a little bit too musky. I'll give it a solid eight. I'm gonna check this one out on skin. I don't know if it's gonna get more musky or less. I hope there's a fecal note that doesn't pop through all of a sudden. Next up we have bat. Now I have heard through the grapevine. <laughs> that not a lot of people like bat. And this is version two, by the way, the uh, 2020 edition. All right, here we go. Sweet tropical fruits, definitely airy and a little poopy. No, 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 that was a little hard, not poopy. It smells like the fruits are almost rotted a little bit. That's what I'm smelling. And there's definitely a dirt smell going on. It's not quite musk. It's like airy turned fruits. There's like a dirty floral jasmine coming through. That's gotta be jasmine. I know that jasmine smell and it's a little dirty and a little bit animalic and poopy. Now, I don't know, creativity, I give it a high mark. Wearability. I don't know. I wouldn't wear this. I would not wear this. This smells exactly like a bat, but I don't get a nighttime bat. I get a daytime bat. I get trees, airy, rotted fruits, dirty, musky jasmine, a little bit of poop. I don't know. I'd give this a 5.5 for wearability. Um, maybe, maybe less, honestly. I'd wear a 5.5. I'm not wearing bat. Maybe a four. Next up, we have elephant. I'm kind of excited to smell this. I've heard some good things about elephant. Ooh. So right off, this is very green. You get blasted with green notes, like realistic vegetal leaves. I smell a little bit of coconut, but there's like a cocoa powder smell, like chocolate, but it's not like a wet chocolate. So this is very realistic leaves that were dusted in cocoa powder. As it's drying down, I'm getting a very lectonic, pleasant, woody smell. It's gotta be like a creaminess from a sandalwood. This is, this is pretty good. So it started off very vegetal and green, realistic leaves dusted with cocoa powder, and now it's getting really creamy from sandalwood. There's vanilla notes coming Coming through and there's a little bit of musk that's keeping it like from being too sweet or a gourmand. It's a little bit wild, like an elephant. There's also some nice soft florals coming through. This is pretty good. This is unique, honestly. So this smells like creamy sandalwood and powdered chocolate milk all over it with hints of florals, a little bit of coconut vibe and some light solid musk. I dig this. I mean, it's definitely unisex. It's, it's turning a little bit feminine slightly, but you know, that's subjective for sure. 
but I think a woman could definitely rock this on a date night. I think they, I think you'd kill it. It has a little bit of funk to it that's, I don't know, it's a little dangerous almost. I'd rock it during the spring and summer. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It doesn't smell quite like it, but it's the same vibe as uh, Debaser from DS and Durga, the fig milky smell. We'll replace the fig. Instead, what you have is like green notes with like a powdered cocoa smell and a little bit of coconut. And it's the same kind of vibe as that. This is solid. If you like that, you probably will like this. I'll give it about an eight. You know, I'll give it an eight out of 10, maybe 7.5. Well, we'll say eight. Let's stick it with eight. Pretty good. Next up is Camel. I'm expecting this to smell like uh, Middle Eastern spices and fruit markets. First blast. Wow, right off the rip. It kind of smells similar to what Hyrax smelled like a little bit. I don't know if I'm just getting bombed out by all the musk in here, but similar vibe. This is a very resinous, warm, spicy amber. That's what I'm getting. Ah, I don't know though. It's a little sharp for me. It's like, bam, it hits right in. A little animalic musk. I'm getting rose for sure, as you'd expect. I'm getting spices, almost like a rosy oud fragrance, but I don't know if there's oud in here, but there's definitely some musk and there's definitely some incense coming in. Now, I want to talk about, I'm not a huge fan of incense fragrances. There's there's certain ones I like and certain ones I don't. I don't like incense florals, and that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting incense and florals, and it's just not my vibe. I don't know, it's a little underwhelming, personally. I, I like, I mean, there's better offerings in this style. If you're thinking of like the Egyptian vibe, I go with Cairo by Penhaligans. That's an amazing fragrance. You know, out of these, what we smell today, I like Hyrax way better than this. Not too bad, I don't know. Not my style. I'll give it a five, 5.5. This one might need to go on skin. I'm hoping that it changes for the better to be a little bit more like Cairo by Penhaligans. Next up, we have Harvest Mouse. This is one of the newer ones, I believe. Maybe last year. I'm looking forward to it. All right, here we go. Wow. This is so good. This is awesome. It's like a very soft, spicy dessert, like cream and orange, almost like an orange bread with cream all over it. This is definitely holiday vibes. This So far, this is my favorite. I'm getting a little bit of rose coming through. You know, it's getting a little bit earthier, just toning, almost like a light hay kind of a smell. And there's definitely like a boozy, yeasty beer note coming through that I like. And it doesn't smell like beer or like spoiled, spilled liquor. It smells like beer foam almost. So like picture a very nice spicy orange dessert with like a little bit of beer foam. Definitely holiday vibes. This is awesome. So the kind of vibe this has, once again, it doesn't smell similar per se, but it almost has the same vibe as like a YSL tuxedo or a Roca's mustache, mustache. It doesn't smell quite like those, but you would wear it in the same application. It has the same feeling. If you sprayed them both, this feels like those fragrances. So if you like those, Check out Harvest Mouse. This is awesome. This is an easy nine for me. I'm gonna see how it is on skin. It might hopefully it goes up to a 10. Really good. Impressed. Next up we have Chameleon. Look at that guy's shirt. That is a cool shirt. That's what you expect a chameleon to wear. Alright, here we go as chameleon. Bright citrus fruits. A little bit floral, which I'm really liking, and then tons of poo-poo. Tons of poo-poo. Wow, oh man, you know what? This is the poopiest. But when I say poo-poo, I mean this is the most fecal smelling so far out of all 30. Well, I haven't done all 30, but of all the zoologist fragrance I've smelled so far. Oh, it's drying down a little bit. I'm getting realistic leaves. There's woodiness. It's getting creamy from some sandalwood. You know what? This literally, this, this literally smells like if you were in the jungle climbing up trees on a bright and sunny day and there's leaves passing you and there's fruits passing you and there's florals blowing in the wind. And that part of this honestly smells amazing. What doesn't smell amazing is this poo-poo note. I mean, if you took away the fecal note, I would give this a solid eight. But with the fecal note in there, I don't really like it. Why, why is it in there? I don't feel like it helps this specific fragrance. Maybe on skin it will. Hopefully it doesn't make it worse. But have you ever had a reptile or a chameleon? It literally smells like when you clean the cage, how their poop, the shit smells. We'll say shit. Disappoint. If the poo poo was gone, this would be like I said, an eight. This is definitely unwearable for me. I, I don't know who would wear this out. For creativity, it's an eight. For wearability, I don't know. I'd say two or three. We'll say three. I'm not going to say two. A two is too bad. Next up, we have B, which is one of the most hyped up fragrances in the line that I've heard of. I haven't smelled it yet. Ooh, wow, darker than I thought. Right off, I got blasted with the ginger for sure. Orange, and there's soft floral. So ginger, orange, soft floral, it's way different than I was expecting. 
I do not get bright, realistic teddy bear honey out of this. Not at all. If you're, if you're thinking teddy bear jar honey, this is not what B is. This is very uh, intense and dark. It's a bit spicy, a little woody. It, you know, it's toning. You know what I'm getting? A super intense bees wax smell. Like I'm talking like not chapstick, like ultra realistic. Like you just punched the hive out of the tree and you ripped out the wax and you just started like smearing it all over your face. That's what this smells like. Less honey, more creepy earthy wax you know it's not bad it's it's sweet but it's not overly sweet not honey sweet i don't know i thought i was gonna like this more i'm actually a little bit disappointed to be honest i don't know there, there's a note in here that's like a it's it's like a, a lively wild that's what it is it's wild there's a wild note in here that i'm not liking and it smells like bees probably you know the creativity of this is a 10 for sure you get the picture i'm not gonna poo poo all over this one i'm gonna test this out more because it might have potential. I'm gonna give it a six for wearability because right now I personally wouldn't wear this. Oh well. Last but not least out of the 30 is Dodo Jackfruit Edition. Hopefully we can end this one on a positive note. Aren't Dodos extinct anyways? All right, here we go. Dodo Jackfruit. Can you smell it? <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. This is it. This is a very classy, modern, manly aromatic fruget. And they didn't have an aromatic fruget in the whole collection, all 30 fragrances. This is it, Dodo Jackfruit. Wow, a bright citrus opening. I'm guessing it's jackfruit. I don't know what that smells like. It smells great. A bit powdery, which I love. A bit soapy, which I love. This is a classic barbershop fragrance reinvented for the modern era, and it smells absolutely amazing. I'm getting lavender. I'm getting creaminess from sandalwood. I'm getting vetiver. This is a fresh shaving cream vibe with the citrus. This is so good. This will be the first bottle that I buy by Zoologist for sure. Wow, that citrus note is really unique. This is unlike any aromatic fruge or, or barbershop style that I've smelled so far. I'm not saying it's the best, but I'm saying it's really good. And if you like that style of fragrance, you should like this. Very good modern take on a classic scent profile. I give this a, this is a 10. I give it a nine, let's, okay, we'll say 9.5, but it's a 10 for me personally. I'm gonna buy this. My only hope for this is that it lasts. It doesn't, the citrus note doesn't die out because we all know some citrus fragrances tend to die quicker because they're a little bit more volatile top notes. Wow. Wow. What a banger. The only one that I don't have is Penguin, which is the newest release. So I'm gonna have to order some samples of that and maybe, I don't know, upload it into a shorts video. You know what, no, screw that. I'm gonna do a whole video review. And you know what, we're gonna see how that stacks up to the other 30. Once again, if you haven't watched the first video, I'll post the link up here. Go check that out before you watch this video. Or I don't know, do whatever you want. Now let's talk about my tops of all 30. Number one, we're gonna say Dodo Jackfruit Edition. That was awesome aromatic fruge. I really like koala was really good. I really liked harvest mouse was awesome. Squid, I've been trying on skin. It's a little bit better. I like squid. Still don't like seahorse. I don't know. I would put panda up there. It was awesome. The apple notes really good. I would put tiger up there. I would put Tyrannosaurus rex up there, which was a whole different thing in general. Let's talk about the ones that I absolutely did not like. Number one, and I've heard some people do like this, but I do not like sacred scarab. I don't know. And chameleon, I'm sorry. I can't wear poo poo chameleon. Can you wear poo poo chameleon? Because I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing poo poo chameleon at all. Or poo poo bat. 